So according to this title, they'll say Tenant won't be opening this August and has been delayed indefinitely, meaning there's no release date. We all know why this is happening. And I'm like I'm pretty much like everybody else. I don't think we're gonna have any movies coming out this year. Except for streaming services like Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, whatever. Not in the theaters because of what's happening in the world right now. This is the right thing to do. Delaying Tenet was the right thing to do. Movies should not open. Unless it's yeah, they just shouldn't open in general. Uh, so let's see what this article says from Variety. Yeah, we know the headline. So Warner Bros. has removed Tenet from its release calendar, delivering a big blow to the exhibition industry at a time when the movie theaters hope for a peg of their reopening in late summer debuts. We don't know when cinemas could safely reopen, obviously. It was supposed to come out July 17th, got pushed back to the 12th, and now it's indefinitely not coming out, indefinitely, been pushed back indefinitely. We will share a new 2020 release date. Christopher Nolan said, he said that. Christopher Nolan's, no, by Warner Brothers, Tony Emmerich said that. We are not treating tenant like a traditional globe date, and the release date in our coming Marketing and distributors will reflect that. Additionally, the studio has removed The Conjuring 3 to June 4, 2021. Yeah, The Conjuring 3 was supposed to come out this year, too. Um, so that movie has been pushed back in the year. Yeah, here, here's the Beyond thing. We're going to see a lot of good movies next year, in 2020. From 2020, we're going to see... Those movies be pushed back to 2021, 2022. We have a lot of good movies in the next two years. If everything gets better, you'll have to see, we'll see a lot of good movies. So yeah, in conclusion, everybody, Canon has been delayed indefinitely. We don't know the release date. It's the world we live in right now. We got to heal the world. Then we could go back to enjoying the main things we love about movies, entertainment. Right now, the only entertainment we have, we're getting sports back. The only entertainment we have is streaming services. Movies on streaming services are coming out, TV shows. You can listen to still music, but you can out of theaters and you can't go to sporting events, even though sports are coming back. Just down with crowds. We're going to have to put up with it and know we can do it. So, once again, tennis has been delayed indefinitely. It's just breaking news now. So like, subscribe, and comment below your thoughts.